The first funeral will be held this afternoon for a victim of the San Bernardino massacre. 27 year old Vet Velasco and 13 others died in that terror attack. Survivors and family members were allowed on Wednesday to return to the scene of the shootings. Investigators met with them in private to answer questions. The FBI now says the attacker, Syed Rizwan Farouk, and his wife, Tashfeen Muluk, talked about violence for at least two years. Carter Evans is outside the Inland Regional Center in San Bernardino, California, where the massacre happened. Carter, good morning. Good morning. We're now getting a clearer picture of the relationship between Farouk and Muluk. The FBI says it, it's clear they shared extremist views long before they shared wedding vows. They were actually radicalized before they started uh, courting. Or FBI Director James Comey on Capitol Hill Wednesday gave chilling details about the husband and wife terrorists, Syed Rizwan Farouk and Tafshin Malik. As early as the end of 2013, they were talking to each other about jihad and martyrdom before they became engaged. That would have been months before Farouk brought his bride-to-be into the U.S. from Saudi Arabia in 2014 using a fiancé visa. Was the uh, woman shooter in San Bernardino ra radicalized before she came to America? It looks like she was. Lawmakers are now questioning how thoroughly she was vetted before being granted the visa and whether her marriage to Farouk could have been part of a terrorist plan all along. Do you agree with me that if it was arranged by a terrorist operative of organization, that is a game changer? It would be a very, very important thing to know. The FBI is also zeroing in on Farouk's friend and neighbor Enrique Marquez, who investigators say purchased the rifles the couple used in their attack. CBS News has learned that Marquez told investigators that he and Farouk were planning an attack in 2012, but they didn't follow through. The role Marquez might have played in the San Bernardino attacks, if any, remains unclear. He has not been arrested. Meanwhile, the FBI was able to recover photos from Farouk's cell phone, which contained exterior photos of Carter High School in Rialto, according to school officials. As a county health inspector, Farouk inspected schools, but it was unusual for him to keep photos of the school exterior. As the FBI continues to comb through evidence in the San Bernardino shooting, it says it has an estimated 900 active investigations involving ISIS sympathizers and other extremists nationwide. What would be your greatest fear after last week's terrorist attack? What don't we know? What can't we see? Well, Marquez has not been arrested because he provided some of the weapons used in the attack. We're learning federal authorities are now considering charging him with material support of terrorism. Gail? Very scary stuff. Thank you very much, Carter.